We just got done seeing Stuber. I'm Adam, this is Chase. We're gonna give you our thoughts outside in the cold weather in front of this AMC where we didn't even see the film. You get past 10 minutes and uh, it's pretty clear sailing. A lot of funny jokes, uh, a lot of good laughs, a lot of slapstick humor, a lot of witty dialogue. And it's all kind of working really well. What did you think of Bautista? Uh, you know, obviously as far as his acting goes, he's not going to be the greatest actor on the planet. The guy that uh, plays Stu, he bounces off of Batista really well with their comedic interactions. If you're going into this film to see a little bit of Nebula, that is all you're going to get because Karen Gillan maybe has eight minutes of screen time. Not even. Not even? Probably like five. She's still charming in the time that she has, but it's short-lived. Some of the shots that I think they took were a little bit iffy. Like, I didn't quite understand, like, why they decided to go shaky cam with it. Because there's a lot of shaking, like, you, it's really hard to, like, understand, like, what's going on. So it reminds me a lot of, like, a Michael Bay action movie. It, it feels like the camera is about 20% too close to everything, kind of like how this camera probably is. This is how close a lot of the shots are. Even when people are just talking, they're, like, this close. Well, there's that shot at the end with uh, Batista and his daughter. <laughs> and it literally is just a straight-up you know, you know, his shot. eyes. No it's just like, hi dad! Action is a bit iffy, like you said, the cinematography is not the thing you're going to take away from this film, it doesn't look the best. However, there is some really good action moments, like oh, just little moments that stand out a lot, uh, especially towards the end, there's a fight between the two leads, a little bit of a quarrel, and uh, that, that scene I was laughing for like three minutes straight. Non-stop. It was... It was the perfect mix, I think, between action and comedy. It wasn't too long. If it was a half hour longer, even 10, 15 minutes longer, it would have been too much. Hour and a half. That's how comedy should be. Not this two hour perfect. bullshit. In and out. We, we don't need to waste any more time. What are you going to give this out of 10? Um, I'd say I'd give it about eight and a half. 8.5 out yeah. of 10? I go to a comedy to laugh. I laughed a lot at this. I'm gonna agree with you, 8.5 out of 10. It could have gone up a little bit further if I had some more of those cinematic shots, if I didn't have some of the, the muddier action scenes. You brought up 21 yeah. Jump Street, I think this fits right in with 21. I think it's funnier though than 21 Jump Street. I would agree. 